welcome back. I wanted to share some updates with you guys about our shop going forward. Today celebrates four years of Potion Yarns website being launched. So four years ago today, we opened the website and started selling for reels our yarn. And um, it's been a crazy ride. I'm really excited to see how much we've grown over these past four years. And speaking of growing, we're growing again. Potion Yarns has a lot of new exciting things coming for 2021. And probably the biggest thing right now facing us is we have put our home in Kansas City on the market. So we are selling our house here in the northeast of Kansas City. I know, I know, if you follow this page for a while, you know that I absolutely love my home city of Kansas City. You know that I am totally in love with my charming little historic neighborhood in the northeast of Kansas City called Pendleton Heights. It's a wonderful, wonderful community. It's a wonderful space with lots of beautiful historic homes. I totally love it. Um, it is a little bit sad to be saying goodbye, but I'm super excited because we are off on a new adventure and uh, we are going to be moving to a different city. Uh, we will still be close to the Kansas City area. We'll be within a short drive of the city, but we're not actually going to be in Kansas City proper anymore. Um, I'm not going to share all the details of where we're headed because uh, we have a house under contract, but it is um, contingent on the sale of our current home. So while we're working out all those details and um, making sure everything goes smoothly with that, I'm just going to hold off on sharing the, that exciting news, but hopefully I will have more news for you on that front soon. However, because we are in the process of selling our house and it is currently on the market and we're having showings and open houses and all of that, I've had to cut way, way back on my business. Currently we're closed for the holidays, but we are planning to reopen the ready to ship yarns on January 3rd. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a slow ease in for 2021 because I don't wanna get myself too um, overwhelmed at the beginning of the year while we've got so many other things going on. So I'm not planning to dye a whole lot of yarns right off the bat. I will kind of slowly be getting back into the dye kitchen, but I am hoping to get some new colors coming your way pretty soon. However, a lot of that is just gonna depend on how quickly we're able to sell our house and how quickly things move on getting us into the new house. Here's what's super exciting for you guys though. Don't freak out. I know this is a lot of big change. I'm so excited about it though because as long as everything goes okay with our new house, we will have um, my own dedicated dye space in the new house. That means I will be able to do a lot more of the yarns that you guys love. I'll be able to do things, keep things a little bit more separate so I'm a little bit less frenetic and crazy and hopefully able to um, bring you more yarns more efficiently in the future. And certainly it's gonna be a really, really big, awesome, Thing for our family, but I hope that you guys will be able to tell a difference too in the smooth efficiency of our business as we go forward. So I'm just really excited about that. I wish I had more concrete news for you. Unfortunately, right now, everything is very up in the air. So um, one of the things that I had to learn in 2020, I know we all had a crazy year and there were lots of lessons for all of us to learn. One of the things that I personally had to learn that's been kind of hard for me because it goes against the way that I'm naturally wired is to just be okay with um, living a little bit spontaneously and living kind of in the moment. I tend to be a big planner. I like to plan things ahead and I like to present a really professional front with my business and um, I like to be able to tell you there will be a shop, it, a shop update at this time with this color, these colors on these bases and I like to schedule my life several weeks or even months out and then communicate that to you and have it go according to plan. And one of the things that has not happened this year is that. <laughs> so I have already had to be learning to um, be a little bit more okay with things changing in the moment and plans changing and being flexible to work with those um, and give myself some grace and give other people some grace when that kind of thing is going on. So I really appreciate how great you guys have been. I have felt nothing but positive vibes and graciousness and understanding from you guys. Uh, just bearing with me as I had a baby and became a new mom and dealt with all those changes and then all of the COVID changes and everything else. So I really appreciate you guys kind of teaching me how to live a little bit more in the moment and be really flexible because we're going to get to do that again for the next month or two, I think. Um, so while we're working out all of this house stuff, we are going to just be very flexible. 
So at this point, I am still planning to reopen the shop on January 3rd, but please stay tuned. Make sure you're following me on social media, and the best thing you can do is subscribe to my newsletter. There is a link in my bio on Instagram, or you can head to my website, www.potionyarns.com, scroll to the bottom, and there is a little section for you to enter your email address and click subscribe, and you'll be signed up so that you get all of the emails. That is the best way for you to find out what is going on with me. We never know how the algorithms are going to change from day to day with social media, so sometimes you may not see my posts even if you are subscribed to my feed. So you will need to follow the, um, you'll need to be checking back here on Instagram and Facebook and or be subscribed to my newsletter so that you can get those updates. And I will definitely let you guys know um, as soon as we have more uh, concrete facts about our new house, I will share what I can as I'm able. But also that will give you an idea if we need to keep the shop closed a little bit longer because we're moving or if we're going to reopen temporarily and then shut it down all those things, but I will do my absolute best to keep it open as much as I can, even through all the craziness. We're just gonna have to be a little bit flexible on how much I'm able to get dyed and in the shop. But I've got a lot of beautiful yarns right now, just taking a little breather for the holidays and they'll be coming back, God willing, next week. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and that you are getting ready for a really exciting last final week of 2020. The new year is almost here and I know it's gonna bring a lot of really exciting, great changes for all of us. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.